should make noise, okay? The suck, suck, the gluck, gluck, the ah, ah, it should make noise. <laughs> And a lot of women do not use enough suction. A lot of women also feel like it's dry. And the reason why is because you're not putting it deep enough down your throat. When you put it down your throat, you're going to get the saliva. Get saliva you get but they, they, the a lot of women be like, I don't want to choke. You know what do you mean? <laughs> Choking on the is actually one of the hottest things. And yes, that's, what gives you, that's what gives you that, mm -hmm. that wet, messy, sloppy. It should be sloppy and messy and make sounds like <laughs> if i put this up send this to your woman send this to your woman it's a lot of women out here giving that desert storm cactuses and 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 weed everywhere hmm. <laughs> another thing that they that add that I'm going to add is that y'all got to complete the mission. Complete the mission. See it all the way through, my girl. Don't stop. See it all the way through. If you're grown, you know what I'm talking about. Why well, I'm leaving this place from getting food and the man standing outside on some weird talking about some yeah you look like a little homebody bro why are you like why are you weird bro first of all and i am that's why it pissed me off that's why it made me more mad because what you read that off me like what does that even mean bro i don't look like i go outside i look like i'm always in the crib like that made me like you bro i mean like i mean this light skin chick always got stories about men trying to holler and she don't like their approach unlike the other lady i can believe that men be coming at her god damn sis Give them boys a break. The last video I was reacting to, she was in there talking about a dude tried to talk to her and he had diapers in his hand. Then there's another one. There was at the arcade. The dude had a toddler in his hand. The toddler was crying. I gotta go through her page or something. She might have it. She might have it. You know, that semi might be pulling a, a big trailer. Fellas, are y'all not scared of getting robbed? Like y'all have no fear in your heart at all. Cause I'm in a ball with a guy. He just chit chat me up, buy me drinks, flash me his money. I look at his watch. I see the Rolex. He's just telling me about all the money that he has. Just telling me about the nice house he got, a nice car. Just you know, talking his shit. Then he proceeds to say, "Hey, you wanna come back to my place? What you think? Hell yeah, I wanna come back to your house. I wanna rob you, blind. Matter of fact, I can't even say I'm robbing you blind. You're giving me the ammo. You telling me what I can take in this economy?" Y'all not scared of nothing. Like, they just, it's just be inviting girls back to their house after, after flashing their money as if times ain't hard. As if I didn't just have to move money from my savings to my checking to pay for this 10-piece wing. I would love to come back, Bookie. And you think it's for some ass. But I'm getting a cash grab. But I'm starting to think that, that that's what you wanted. You, you had to want it, because there's no way. It's no way. That dick gonna get y'all in trouble, I'll tell you. Because, uh, that almost got got. If I didn't have other fears of what could have happened at that house, he'd have got got. I think dudes that try to get women off of bragging about their money is corny. I've always thought it was corny, and I'm forever going to think it's corny. That's why I think it's corny now that these bitches want dudes that's bragging about their money. I remember a point in time where if a dude start bragging about his bread, the females automatically label him a cornball. The bitches probably still think they're cornball, but now they trying to use them. Cornballs are there to be used. Don't go out here. Don't go on dates bragging about your money. Don't go on dates bragging about your cars. Because you never know. There's been a lot of stories on the news of dudes meeting up with, with chicks for Tinder dates. And then the Tinder date had like three other dudes follow them back to the crib and robbed them and basically killed the dude. Stop bragging about your money, my boy. Even flashing your stuff on social media. I'm not big on flashing on social media. I want people on social media to think I'm broke. For all you know, I'm broke. I don't got shit. Before the shooting, she says her sister was getting ready to go out with friends and he grew jealous. When he seen her flat on her hair dressed and ready to go hang out with her friend, he was like, you're not going anywhere. He said, you're not going anywhere. Today is the day. And then that's when he went and got the gun and he pulled it out on her. Gunned down in front of her own children. Police say she was shot by her on and off again boyfriend who is also the father of two of her kids. New at 10 ABC 13's Brooke Taylor just spoke to family members in Brooke. It's been three days since the shooting, and that man still isn't in custody. 
It has, Erica. It's been 72 hours, and Houston police still have not named this suspect who they're looking for, so we can't name him. But family members of the victim tell me that he has threatened her before, but they say they never took the threat seriously because he was really part of their family and they have children together. The door wide open, inside a Christmas tree shining. Well, outside, police put up crime tape around the home. Jatara Williams got a frightening call from her 14-year-old niece revealing the horror that just happened. And she stated, my daddy just killed my mama. 38-year-old Jamika Williams was shot and killed in her bedroom at her home on Bird Run Drive in southwest Houston in the Missouri City area on Friday. Police say she was shot by her boyfriend who fled and he's been on the run since. Jamika has four children and together they have two. Her family says three of the kids before the shooting. She says her sister was getting ready to go out with. Kill your girl because she want to go out and party. Now you about to be locked up for the rest of your life. It's too much cheeks out here to go to jail for one. Sometimes I'll be watching these, these like crime stories. I ain't psychic or nothing like that. But imagine if you had some psychic powers, right? To just go to a crime scene and, and touch the crime scene and actually relive what happened. Like, I be wanting to know what be going through dudes' minds when they do this. Because I be mad at my wife, but, like, I don't be this mad to where I'm, I'm going to put hands on her or I'm going to shoot her, bro. I don't understand this at all. Yo, you know what's crazy, too? You want to hear something crazy? One of my coworkers actually told us a story about a dude that he used to drink with. He was like how the dude went back to the crib, killed his wife, killed her mother, and I guess he was about to walk out. The kids tried to follow him out the house. He locked the door and burned the house down and killed all of them. So I'm guessing he was trying to get rid of the evidence. He was trying to get rid of the witnesses. You, you, you heard what I said. He killed his wife. He killed her mother. And they had three kids. The kids tried to follow him out the house. He locked the kids in there. These are little kids now. Locked the kids in there and burned the house down. I guess the crime started getting to him. He tried to jump in front of a train. The train hit his ass, but he ain't die. <laughs> it's not funny, but yeah, he ain't die. So he doing time right now. I think he got like natural life or something like that. He was supposed to get the death penalty, but the family didn't want didn't want to give him the death penalty. My thing is, what be going through y'all minds? Do it be that good? <sighs> You know what, bro? If it's some cat out here that is that good, I do not want it. I do not want it, bro. Turn me into a serial killer? I do not want it. She could keep that thing where she could lock it up. I don't want it. I say this humbly because I know how folks be getting about people who are confident with themselves. But all my exes are stupid. I'm fine. I'm funny. I got a good head on my shoulders. I'm smart. I'm articulate. And I am literally the light in a room. It was never me. It was always there. I say this humbly. She is fine. <laughs> she look like she's Ethiopian. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. But, um, are you funny? Where are you finding a virgin in, in the West? Like, in middle Nowhere. school? Nowhere. So stop So stop saying, are you a virgin? What's your body count? This is weird. It's getting really, well, really I weird. I don't think anybody asked that. I mean, I mean, I just see it in the comments a lot. Like, oh, you what's your body count? Like, <sighs> don't try to make us feel bad for having standards. I don't want to purchase a car that everybody has been driving around town. Plain and simple. The problem that I'm having with this low body count bullshit. Or oh this my God, another one. The fact that you guys are saying, oh, all these men ran up in her. Ain't nobody running up in me. I'm allowing you to partake of me. I'm allowing you to be with me. Because I'm your security is weak. Lay next to me. But you're not running up in me. And I'm just saying. I'm. In this cow, you're just holding the head. That don't even make no sense. Y'all people give men too much power. Too much power to the goddamn penis. <laughs> How about we choose them? They don't choose us. Overstand that. Y'all need to get your lives together. Okay? Holy and solely. I 
I feel as I've spoken about the whole body count stuff about three times today. Because really, the way I think about this situation is like buying a car. The more miles a car comes with, the more problems you're gonna have. The less exclusive it's gonna be to you. Nobody want a car with high mileage. Nobody want a car that has been driven through all types of bad conditions. Because that car comes with existing problems. I could tie it in by saying with a woman, them existing problems might be emotional damage. You have history with so many different people that you are coming into whatever relationship I'm trying to build with you. You're going to have to unlearn so many people. You're going to have to unlearn so many bad incidents. And I could use myself as an example also because... As a man, I do have a high body count. With that high body count comes a lot of PTSD. It's certain things that I still can't get over that I've seen other women do that, like, if my wife does anything close to it, I'm looking at her kind of kind of funny because I've already experienced that. Now, she might not even be doing nothing, bro. I might just be in my head. So, yeah, bro, as a man who has been out here, I would never date a woman with a high body count at all. Because I already know. You come in with some shit. Whether you want to admit it or you don't want to admit it. Whether you know it or you, or not. That's that's the most important thing. Whether you know it or not. Because some people be emotionally damaged and don't even know it. Whether you know it or not, you're coming with some problems. That a lot of people don't, don't want to deal with. So keep going on out here and thinking you free.